What's the crack, lads? What's going on? And welcome to our last epic English League Guardian player training guide. This is an easy enough one, lads, because we've got Shea Given, who's going to be down as a 96-rated goalkeeper. But to be honest with you, I think you, you're you not going to be spinning for Given, right? I don't think that any of the goalkeepers are ever worth spinning, because once you understand that all goalkeepers are going to concede. It doesn't matter if they've got 110 awareness or 10 awareness. It doesn't matter if they've got 120 goal goalkeeper reflexes or 40 goalkeeper reflexes, right? You can play Giroud, who came out as a player of the week in goal sometimes. All that you need to have with a goalkeeper, right, is you need to make a decision whether you want to have, in my opinion, you want to have a big dominant goalkeeper that's not as mobile, that can just save a lot of shots, or you want a small, nimble goalkeeper that can actually get around and be manual and you can control him yourself and make some very point-blank saves. Both take a little, bit, a little bit of skill because you have to train the players. I have done a full video out on it. If you guys want to check that out, you can. So you'll see a graphic there on the screen. That's the thumbnail for the video that we did about goalkeeper training where we talk about the difference between training up the likes of Donnarumma, who's an absolute giant, or Oblak or Courtois, or else, giant, or else training somebody up like Shea Given or Casillas or somebody like Sommer, who we're going to show you as the GP alternative here, right? So on to Shea Given, okay? He's down as a defensive goalkeeper. And the biggest thing with Given that is going to be like OP about him, so to speak, right? I'll just hide his webcam um, to show you with the booster on and the booster off, right? So he does have a couple of player skills. He does have the goalkeeping plus two, which is going to give you a plus two to all of these stats. So that essentially means that with the manager play style team proficiency boost and the booster, Given is going to be getting a plus four in game when you have him in your squad, starting between the sticks, to all of them stats that you see with the little green icon beside. So awareness, catch and parrying and reflexes are all going to be plus four, which means that you don't need to train him higher than 86, in my personal opinion, right? Especially if you're going to be using Given, he is under 190 CM. So goalkeeper awareness and reflexes become a little bit more important. But goalkeeper awareness, in my opinion, again, uh, is only important if you are letting your, you know, if you don't have a lot of manual saves going on. I play a very manual goalkeeper a lot of the time with calling him, uh, switching to him, trying to psych out your opponent on one on ones. Um, so that is something to think about depending on your play style, right? But also as well as that, it means that you will have a couple of other points to spend elsewhere, right? So there's only one real build that I want to show you with Shea Given, which is this one here. So we're going to pop eight into aerial strength. That's going to max out his jump to get you at the 90 zone, you're going to have 90 jump, you're going to have 85 physical contact, that doesn't really matter, but your awareness, your catching, your reflexes, and your reach are all going to be in the 90 zone. The only thing you don't have is goalkeeper clearing here or parrying, and that's the only thing that you don't have. Whether you find that really important or not, that is up to you. I mean, you can try out a different build of him here as well, where you take a little bit away from this, you still have the jump over 85, so you're going to have 85 jump there, and you can actually turn up this a little bit to go with the 88 there, or 89, to have like 94 catching and reflexes, but I personally think, have this guy um, as best as you possibly can in the jumping with 88. You will notice a big difference if his jump is 90 plus, right? If you are looking for a GP alternative, it's hard to look past Sommer, right? Sommer is a little bit shorter than him, but he doesn't have as good skills, but he does have low punt uh, kickouts, he has long throw, and he also has some fairly nice stats there as well as 88 reflexes, 81 awareness, and 97 jump. So he's going to have 99 jump, and trust me with this build of Sommer, it is a beast, even though the stats don't look that good, right? So let me know, lads, if you're disappointed or you're happy with these builds and let, or with these players, right? We've done bills for Irwin, Alonso, and Shea Given. Um, if you want to check those out, you can. For me personally, lads, I just feel like the next cards need to be like... I don't know. Where are they going to go with, with these after these? Is it going to be a plus four, plus five to the stats? Are you going to be able to train up the stats? I mean, if Shea Given was 90 in every stat, then it becomes a situation where it's like, whoa, I can actually start him here with the top three, four goalkeepers in the game. Xabi Alonso is a little bit too slow. Dennis Irwin, I think, is... <sighs> some people will be disappointed with his card, some people won't. But for now, we will leave it at that. Check out the other videos if you want to. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you in the live stream very soon. Peace.